Thank you. Uh, this is the first uh, BGD Asia conference, so I would like to share some uh, something about the beginning. So my topic is the story behind the conference, or uh, how PGD Asia was born, Satoshi uh, Nares. First of all, who am I? Uh, I'm a uh, uh, one of the Postgres uh, community people uh, in Japan, and I'm a chairperson of Japan Postgres Users Group. And I. I've been working maybe around 10 years in Japan for the com Postgres and community. A few years ago, I, I was working as a uh, chairperson of Japan Postgres Users Group, and, and I just started thinking of a Postgres conference for the people, uh, mainly com coming from Asian countries. Why? Uh, I wanted to introduce Postgres to the Asian people and also uh, wanted to introduce Asia to the Postgres community. That is uh, uh, my uh, uh, biggest motivation of the, this conference. Obviously, uh, we need to involve uh, Asian communities and people, but going to Ottawa and Europe is not easy things for the Asian people, including me. So that's the uh, motivation of this conference. By the way, can we make it? Or I have no idea at the time. So what could I do at the time? Uh, I, just uh, I just remember that time, but I think just nothing, because I was not familiar with Asian countries and communities. What did I do at that time? I just started inviting from Asia, uh, inviting people from Asia and just started traveling around Asia to find the people and to know the people. This is uh, several photos from Japan, uh, the Postgres conference in Japan in 2014. Uh, uh, the, from China, from Japan, from Australia, from England, from Indonesia, and uh, from India. Uh, this is my, our first uh, conference the uh, uh, first Japanese conference to, uh, for international people or international track. So I invited uh, many people from Asian countries. And also I uh, started traveling Asia, uh, like Beijing, and Taipei, uh, Koskap, Taipei, and Singapore, and Shenzhen in China to uh, meet people and understand the community and uh, make my friends there. So this is my presence around a few years. Uh, PGCon uh, Ottawa, uh, I'm continuing uh, going PGCon Ottawa, and also PGCon China and Force Asia last year, uh, Costco uh, at Taipei, and I'm going to go Hong Kong next, uh, maybe, uh, August or uh, maybe June. A friend of mine in China asked me, uh, asked me, uh, why are you traveling in Asia so many times? Even you live in Asia, uh, don't you go, want to go to Europe? Uh, well, my answer is mm. so. Uh, I gave a talk uh, last uh, for the Asia uh, about Postgres. Uh, to introduce Asian people. Uh, I was very impressed about f um, by Force Asia because this is very, very large uh, uh, open source and open technology conference in Asia I've ever seen. Um, I, I was thinking, uh, I, I started thinking of a joint event with Force Asia at that time. So this is uh, last year Force Asia. And uh, of course, I met the guy in Singapore last year at Force Asia. Yeah. So, uh, question again, uh, can we make it? Uh, I'm, uh, I was thinking of, yeah, maybe, at, the, at that time. 
Then I made a pitch at PGCon, uh, last PGCon, like working progress PG Day Asia uh, 2016. So this is our first uh, plan of Force Asia, uh, PG Day Asia at Force Asia. So the another reason why I want to have jo uh, joint event with Force Asia is this T-shirt. Uh, this uh, in this T-shirt we cannot see Postgres string, Postgres name. And also, we ca uh, I'm a Japanese, so I cannot uh, see Japanese characters in this t-shirt. So uh, I want to put uh, Postgres and Japanese characters on this t-shirt next time. <laughs> this is the uh, another biggest motivation of this conference. So can we make it maybe properly uh, six months later? We teamed up the uh, conference committee. Uh, there are uh, many people from many countries, uh, from Australia, China, Germany, uh, India, Indonesia, Japan, Singapore, uh, United States, and Vietnam. Um, uh, before uh, six months ago, uh, question again, can we make it? Yeah, we have to. So we cannot go get back, <laughs> or we cannot cancel the plan <laughs> at that time. So we are starting working uh, call for paper or venue or visa issue or everything for program and logistics. And after six months, another six months passed. And in this week, uh, we can have PG day, day one and day two. So uh, finally we made it. So I'm very happy to be here, uh, happy to be happy to meet all of you. So it's safe to say that uh, Asian Postgres committees are able to run, run uh, Pan-Asian conference once a year for now, from now. And also floor committees can help Postgres committees like this opportunity and vice versa. So, but the running conference is a really tough job. So I can thank Samir more for <laughs> your help while I was spending an extremely busy and tough time. And also thanks to Bruce and Nikhil and the team and ethnic people, of course, and all the people who helped us make this happen. And of course, thanks to Fosija organizer Hon and Mario is very helpful for uh, make this happen. Um, I think you, none of you know, but uh, my friend is working, uh, is working for website, design and coding, so special thanks for my microphone. So what's next? It depends on you, because it's open source community. Uh, please give us your feedback, and uh, see you next time, or maybe next year. My favorite quote, uh, great, greatest quote from PGCon for conference attendees uh, from Dan is keep, just keep, keep coming. So keep <coughs> coming is very important thing for running community and um, keep uh, relationship and um, growing communities. So thanks a lot. That's all. <laughs>